Welcome back everyone. The iPhone SE third generation just ended up kind of getting announced in a way. So let's go and see how it compares against the iPhone 12. Now I will tell you I'm already pre-ordering the iPhone SE 3 when it comes out this Friday. So I will do a bunch of comparisons for reviews, all that good stuff. Now on the outside, they are completely different from one another. The iPhone 12 is, you know, pretty good looking nowadays. It has that notch, but other than that, it looks way more current than the iPhone SE 3. It is a little bit more expensive than the iPhone SE 3, so that is something to keep in mind. The iPhone 12, obviously 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR OLED panel looks beautiful. iPhone SE 3, IPS panel 4.7 inches, home button with a bunch of bezel around it. Not really my cup of tea, but it is one of those things that's kind of expected, but it isn't like a super, super cheap phone. It's not like it's $100. It's $429, which is more expensive than the iPhone SE second generation, which honestly makes no sense how this iPhone is more expensive than its predecessor from two years ago. That honestly doesn't make too much sense to me, but they have kind of done this like $30 increase in price for the last couple of phones, which is very weird. Now the iPhone 12, obviously a much better phone. It does have a lower chipset technically than this one. So the iPhone 12 isn't probably going to last as long as this phone, which is going to be very weird to say. That has the Apple A14 bionic chip inside of it. And realistically, they're probably going to ending off at the same time, but there is a chance that the iPhone SE 3 is going to outlast it. There's 5G added on the iPhone SE 3 as well, and it could be a little bit more durable for the SE 3. Apple stated it does have the same type of glass on the front and the back that the iPhone 13 has on its back. So it could be more durable than the iPhone 12, but realistically, when it comes down to it, I would even much rather have an iPhone 12 than the iPhone SE 3. The iPhone SE 3 is, you know, a little bit of a dated design, as most of you know. It has, you know, pretty much a lower sized battery, which is the biggest thing. And, you know, the price tag of an iPhone 12 in the used market isn't really that much far off than this one. You can pick that one up for probably less than $500. This one, including taxes and everything, is probably around $500. So you're really kind of coming up at the same price between both of them. So when it comes down to it, I would probably tell you to buy an iPhone 12. I mean, that's quite an obvious answer. That is a much better phone than this one. There is just no way that an iPhone SE 3 is going to outperform an iPhone 12, even if it's faster, even if it's this or that. I would much rather have something like an iPhone you know, 12 than an iPhone SE 3. Even if it's less you know, heavy in terms of performance, I still think it's a better phone. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.